Alright, so first off we're going to go with just some basics for getting into free play. If we go on tap free play and we're just going to go to New Hudson just to start. If you're wanting to zoom in or out, you just two fingers and pinch to move out and spread your fingers to move in. You can touch and hold to kind of scroll around. The HUD is toggleable. So if we hit it, we can see frame per second, zombies kit, you know, total zombies, humans, zombies killed, which day you're on, how many civilians, and whether peace mode is on. If we hit that again, it goes away. Select will give us a selector so we can mass select units. So if, say, we go up to here, we've got some police, we can mass select them. Or we can use it again to just click off of them. Remove. If you tap it, it becomes active and whatever you touch gets deleted. Whether that be a person, a thing, a zombie, sometimes even, you know, say craters. You can just kind of remove whatever you want. If we go, if we're in HUD, we have some things over here where we can go to units. We have a backspace, objects. God powers, game settings, you know, anything we want. We have heroes. If we hit units and spawner, we can set a spawner for a type of unit. If we hit, hit it again, spawner's not active. If we hit paintbrush and select something, we can drag and hold to spawn a bunch of something. There's a building tab over here, which you can toggle in and out of. It does remove the HUD when you go out, but if you go into here, we have a barricades tab and a walls tab. Those are just kind of the basics on that. Again, we'll be getting into some more specific controls, but kind of basic for units is just tapping to move them. We have human control where you they stand in place unless you tell them to move. Or we have AI control where they will try to move on their own and kind of wander around going to select one here, turn AI control on, so he'll start wandering around, kind of bouncing around, he'll shoot anything he comes across. We also can change their guns, so right now if we zoom in, he's got a pistol, if we tap here, he now has a shotgun. We'll be going into more detail on different units in another video. Those are most of the basic controls there, we can also set custom names. So if you say you really are attached to one character, you can say name him Bob. Now keep in mind, if you have AI control active, the next unit you select will also start using AI control until you turn back to human control. So if we select someone over here, now they are on human control. And I'm going to go and wrap this one up with one last thing. They do have patrol here. If you tell them to patrol, they will go back and forth. You can set multiple units to this. And it's a nice little way to kind of start a little bit of patrol. But keep in mind, patrol routes do not save. When it saves, they'll be stuck wherever they were patrolling. And with that, I'm going to get on to our next video.